Hello and welcome to Farm Business Consulting's USDA Stocks Report, Was Day Report, February 8th. I'm Ken Close and I'll be guiding you through what happened in the report today. So first off, as you see on the uh, chart here, we're looking at uh, corn is where we started with January. Uh, ending stocks were determined to be estimated at 0.6. Zero 0.2 and in February now they came in at 0.6032 so uh, 30 um, 300,000 bushels more than what was estimated earlier on um, so we see corn trading down a little bit lower but that's what we saw earlier in the week with the last couple of uh, trading days coming in on the low end of uh, trade with the market trending down so Obviously, some sort of a tip-off that uh, the market was going to be going down uh, today, so um, trade isn't really reacting overly to these numbers, but it is going to influence it going further as well, too. So what else uh, was interesting in this report was the soybean carryout in the States. They dropped it down. At a 0.125, and of course, if you remember last video I did, that 0 0.100 is considered a zero carryout in the states. So we're etching ever ever so closely to a zero carryout in soybeans, as uh, they have Brazilian Argentine problems getting their product to the coast in order to export it. Now, there's other factors that are influencing beans, which happened uh, down in the bottom of the chart here. Uh, Brazilian soybeans were lifted 1 million metric ton, and Argentine beans were dropped 1 million metric ton. Interesting to note, Twitter is going wild right now because farmers in Argentine and uh, analysts in Argentine are pretty much predicting 50 million metric ton. So you know if they're pretty much predicting that, that the trade up here is also uh, estimating that number to come in lower in future reports. But until it's shown by the USDA that it is going to be lower, it's one of those things that it's, uh, you know, buy the rumor, sell the fact, maybe in play. Or today, um, buy the fact and sell the rumor of it being down as beans are down today. Interesting note here, too, I've got a bolded, is wheat came in. Uh, even lower than the lowest estimates, um, quite a bit lower than what the average trade thought was. As they have very strong exports in the States right now. Egypt's only looking for soft white and soft red, but the rest of the world is looking for the hard red varieties, be it winter wheat or spring wheat. So again, that's why March, April time frame for price in our wheat is going to be in play and delivery later on in the year as once we get into the winter wheat in the states coming in out of dormancy and knowing just how bad the damage is, there should be a nice little pop-up in that market. World ending stocks for corn and beans rose ever so slightly uh, from their January reports. Uh, beans was very little uh, increase and wheat was just about kept identical to the January. So. All in all, today the markets aren't going uh, too crazy. I'm just going to show you uh, what the markets are doing this morning as we talk here on Friday. And we see uh, this pretty much doesn't matter to us because uh, it's uh, March futures for canola. But canola is trading flat because we've got our own supply-demand situation happening here in Canada. And also down in the States, we see beans definitely um, ticking down and the other crops... Uh, down below here, they are pretty much staying flat, which would be considered flat with corn at one cent and wheat at one cent. <clears throat> now, I just want to show you something in beans, um, just because this will be happening probably in the next uh, next week to 10 days. Beans are set up chart-wise, um, definitely for a little bit of a pullback, a 40 to 50 cent pullback. As we see today, they'll come in roughly around this level right here. So, um, like I say, they're going to be set up for a little bit of a pullback, but what we can be looking at most likely going forward is beans will pull back into this area here, and then it's just loading for a spring back up again. So, uh, trend lines, nothing's really changed 
on the Bollinger Bands trend-wise, but there is going to be some profit taking. It's likely going to be 40 to 50 cents. Like I said, today it's already down 15. So that's only another three days of a trade like today, and we will see it set up for a coil back up. One other thing I do want to point out, as uh, you know, a few people, a few analysts out there will be talking about battles for acres. Now, it's not what the price is right now. It's what the price is next fall. And what we see is beans are trading at $13, and corn for next fall is trading at five sixty-three. So why that's important, if we were to bring up the battle for acres, and this comes down to basic inputs, is we've got to take the 563, times it by the conversion ratio into beans, and that's 1278. So we still see that beans are overvalued compared to corn. So one of those two has to make a move up to grab more acres. Likely it'll be corn and it'll be fall corn. Um, but again, that's not going to be recognized until later in the year. So uh, thanks for tuning into this report and be sure to view everything else on the website.